Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I brought you a very simple recipe for breakfast. Um, this is a bread uh, cooked in a pan. This bread in Moroccan is called harsha and it's very common in Moroccan houses. For this bread we're going to use um, coarse semolina. Just don't use fine semolina because it's, it's not going to work. So, exclusively uh, coarse semolina. We'll need one cup and a half of semolina for this recipe. To this, we're going to add a little bit of salt to your taste. You can add less or more. We'll also add some extra virgin olive oil one tablespoon and we're gonna mix very well with our fingers just to coat all the semolina with extra virgin olive oil this is gonna help the um, semolina to absorb less water just work here a little bit with our fingers this is gonna form some kind of sand texture to this we're going to add plain water not hot water just room temperature water and for one and a half cup of semolina we're going to add one cup of water and then we, we will see if we need more depending on the type of semolina if it, if it does absorb more or less to this dough, I ended up adding a little bit more later because it absorbed water. So it was one cup and maybe two tablespoons of water. As you can see, the beginning is very runny, but just let it sit for one minute and it's gonna dry. The end result should be a soft texture, as you can see, like this. This is going to allow us to work it easily. Now we're going to let it sit for one, two minutes. Then we're going to prepare our pan. We should use a um, heavy pan, like a cast iron one. This is a Moroccan style cast iron uh, pan. This is because it will allow to distribute the heat evenly and cook the bread in an equal way on all parts. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of semolina on the top of the pan, as you can see. The pan is already warm, so just put it three minutes before. And we're gonna put our dough, which as you can see, become more firm. I'm gonna try to spread the uh to all the pan till the edges just to form a nice circle. It's very easy to work, so it's not uh something complicated to do. Just spread it with your fingers like this. And then we're gonna form a hole in the middle just to let the steam come out, otherwise it's gonna form bubbles. In the middle of the dough. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of uh, semolina again on the top and we're going to try to make that surface a little bit more smooth so we can use a normal spoon like this one or a spatula. Just press it a little bit because as we worked it with our fingers it left some some fingertips on there so we're just gonna try to smooth it a little bit make it more even it doesn't matter because at the end the result should be okay not just to make it a lot more equal from the sides now we're gonna let it cook for about uh, 10 minutes on one side on a uh, medium to low heat don't try to make low heat because it's going to take ages to cook and don't make high, don't put high 
heat because it's gonna burn quick it's not gonna cook from the inside i think a low medium heat temperature is the ideal one and now we're gonna leave it for 10 minutes just don't try to flip it or check it before 10 minutes because the dough will be um still soft and will break As you can see after 10 minutes, you can make sure that it's cooked by touching the surface. It's going to be hard as you can see. Now we can flip it over. I do use my hand because it's not too hot from that side. If you're not confident enough, you can use a plate or a tray to do so. And don't be afraid because it's hard enough to flip as you can see. And we're going to try to move it in circle like this a little bit just to make it cook evenly and it will need five minutes to cook on the other side because as you saw it's already dry so just need to be a little bit crisp now after five minutes on the other side as you can see we're going to try to flip it over and this is the result it's perfectly cooked nice and crisp we're going to cover it with a sheet or a kitchen towel just to make it warm and we can serve it as as quick as possible because this is a bread they served hot as you can see it's thin it's not too thick didn't rise because we didn't put any baking powder inside it's crisp on the outside and when you open it, it's very easy to open as well. This is very soft from the inside. As you can see, it's still hot. Uh, you can spread it with anything you like, to be honest, with honey, butter. You can put peanut butter. You can put Nutella. But my favorite part is this. I do like it with soft cheese. Philadelphia, for example. And it really tastes really nice. It's a very good combination. Harsha and soft cheese. It's really nice and easy recipe as you can see. I hope you guys are gonna try this and leave in the comments below how was your recipe and how did you find it. And if you can just put a thumbs up and like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel and that's it thank you very much see you guys